The RevoScan app on iOS and Android devices can connect to RevoPoint scanners via Wi-Fi. Power the scanner using the two-in-one mobile cable to connect it to a power bank. Then, find and connect to the scanner in your phone's Wi-Fi settings. It'll have the same name as the one on the silver label on the back of the scanner. You can also connect to Android devices via USB cable by connecting the two-in-one mobile cable to a power bank, scanner, and mobile phone. After successfully connecting, tap the Settings button in the upper right corner to access options. Here, you can connect to the handheld stabilizer, select the language, view user guides and tutorials, or provide feedback. One, depending on your requirements, select either single shot or continuous scanning mode. You can also switch between the two modes mid-scan. Two dot tap the icon to access the scan settings. Select your accuracy, high, standard or high speed. Secondly, choose the tracking mode. For objects with rich features, such as faces and sculptures, select feature tracking. For featureless objects such as soccer balls and water bottles, Place markers on their surface and select marker tracking. Next, set the object type. You can choose general, dark, or face based on the object type. Finally, if you want a color scan, tap here to turn it on. 3. The toolbar is in the upper right corner of the central preview window. Tap here to turn on base removal. The software will automatically detect and remove planes around the target object that don't need to be captured. Tap here to adjust the depth camera's working distance. This helps remove unwanted background areas and focus on the object being scanned. If color scanning is enabled, tap here to display or hide the object's color information. Tap here to reset the model to its original position. For on the left side of the screen are the preview windows for the depth cameras and RGB camera. In the depth camera's preview window, you can select automatic or manual exposure. When manually adjusting, it is important to avoid overexposure or underexposure. You can set the RGB camera to automatic or manual exposure if color scanning is enabled. When manually adjusting, ensure the colors look clear and sharp in the preview window. You can also tap here to select automatic or manual adjustment of the white balance value to normalize the color temperature. If the scanner has flash LEDs, taping this button turns them on and off. After setting up your scan, tap here to start scanning. When scanning, pay attention to the working distance indicator bar. Try to keep it green at an excellent to good distance. During the scanning process, you can tap pause at any time to check the model. Tap it again to continue scanning. After you've finished scanning, tap the model button in the bottom right corner to jump to model processing. You can choose between one-tap automatic editing and manual editing. The one-tap editing tool automatically completes point cloud fusion, meshing, and other processes. To edit your point cloud manually, first, you need to perform fusion on the unprocessed point cloud. After the fusion, you can use point cloud editing tools to process the point cloud model further. The isolation tool detects and deletes isolated data separated from the main model. Use the Overlap tool to detect and remove unwanted overlapping data from the point cloud. You can use the Smooth tool to remove noise from the data. After Fusion, you'll have a processed point cloud. If you need a solid model, you can mesh the point cloud. If the model surface has small unwanted holes, you can use the automatic hole filling function to detect and fill them. After completing meshing, the mesh editing tools can be used to further edit the model's details. The isolation and smooth tools work similarly, their point cloud counterparts. Use the simplify tool to reduce the file size and noise on the mesh. You can also use the selection tools, such as the rectangle or lasso, to select areas and delete the data. These tools can be used on the point cloud or mesh model states. If you performed a color scan, tap the texture mapping button to apply the color data to the model. Finally, in the model editing interface, you can tap this button to select whether to continue scanning or take a screenshot of the model. 1. After completing the model processing, 
tap the share again choose a file format to share the model with other apps. 2. In the model hub, tap the Gimor icon in the bottom right corner of the model to continue scanning, rename, or delete individual model. Multiple models in the same project can be selected and deleted. 3. In the project list, tap the Gmorg icon to share, rename, or delete entire project files. For currently, you can only transfer whole project from the Revo Scan app to Revo Scan 5 on a PC. To transfer a project, ensure your phone and PC are connected to the same Wi Fi network. Open Revo Scan 5 on the PC. Click on the new project, it click on a file. Click on Gimport from phone. And then choose to initiate the transfer by verification code or QR code scanning. Finally, Revo Scan is frequently updated. Please keep your version up to date so you can take advantage of all the latest improvements.